hi she was star goddess okay so i'm back with another little witchy haul uh, i have candles and some other things that i want to show you guys so let's get started okay um i'll, I'll start with this one i got the chango macho spirit of luck good offering i mean good luck offering candle and this is the blue yellow and red color it's good for luck power money and love and there's shingle on there so i picked this one up um i've never used one of these type of candles before the jingle candles so i wanted to try it out it doesn't have a scent or anything some of these have scents so um they'll say scented on it if they do but this one doesn't so i got that i also got another santissima muerte in the white um i got the black one because y'all know I always have to pick those up. I got the money drawing. And I got a purple for domination. I got uh, Archangel Michael, St. Michael. And then I have, I got some of these white plain ones. Because you can create and make them whatever type of candle you want. They're also good for ancestor altars and things like that. Cleansings. Um, and then I got this a red and black candle this is a come to me candle for love desire passion respect attraction romance seduction and tenderness um and that's what that one is for and of course all these candles that i burn and incense and all that kind of good stuff you run out of lighters really quick so i bought some more lighters i like these kind because they're small but they also light candles very well because it has that little long thing at the end so I picked those up and then I got a long one. And then I saw this at the Dollar Tree. This little skull, sugar skull, Dia de los Muertos lighter by Scripto. So I got that. I couldn't pass it up. I tried like three times and then this time I finally just picked it up because I was like, let me get it. I also picked up some crushed red pepper flakes because um, this is good for spell work. Um, let's see what else I got. I got some more of that incense powder, that Indio or powerful Indian incense powder. This time I got the do as I say. So this is good for manipulation, control, domination. I have a lot of these spell requests, so that's why I picked this up as well. Um, I also picked up this litter, 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 this little mortar and pestle, and it's made out of like stone, so you can crush up like hardier things like leaves and like big seeds and roots really good and you can make pastes and all that kind of good stuff this is only three dollars at my local uh, grocery store fiesta i'm gonna open it they had big ones too but i didn't need a giant one i just needed a smaller one so this is how it looks and it comes with this and it's not smooth this is for like grinding it up um and getting like those powders those fine powders out of certain things this will do it fast because it's rough okay so that's three bucks i have a, a a nice smooth marble one but i needed one like that to get the the big chunky stuff right okay? uh, then i picked up some palo azul and this is just the palo stick and you can burn this like sage to cleanse an area so they sell this at my grocery store too for like a dollar. I picked that up and then I picked up, they had some sugar skulls and I'm going to do my ancestor uh, altar, my muertos altar tonight. So I picked up some sugar skulls and candles and I got, these are like the ones in the coffin. They're like the sugar skulls, the whole body ones. And I got a pink and a blue one. Um, and the skull is because I have um, my grandmother, my grandfather, and my cousin. So I, got, I picked up three. Those are the only people I, I try to like um, honor because those are the only people that I kind of knew that passed away. There's a few more, but these are the ones that I knew very well and I want to give offerings to. And the ones that, um, you know, were more beneficial and who I feel are, you know, 
need to be remembered so like you know how some family members you don't really know them and you know they died way before you were born and stuff like that I like to honor the ones that I knew as well as the ones that came before but I only buy figures and put up the pictures of the ones that I knew okay let's okay is that clear all right <laughs> all right um I also bought some plates because when I do spell work I wanted to incorporate color in my spell work so I got this one to do money spells on because it's green and then I got a plain white one to do all the other spells on and this will fit nice on my altar because it's not too big and I won't have to use my own dishes and get them dirty so I picked up some little cheap plates from the Dollar Tree they have all colors so you can use the color magic with those plates as well um, they did have red but um, I didn't want to, you know, get too much stuff because I'm getting ready to move. So I just picked up a few things. Um, probably when I move, I will get more items that I can use in my magic. And I'll have my own magic room, filming room, whatever. You won't see my bed anymore in the background. And um, I'll have more storage and stuff like that. So I will be able to be more organized. But yes. Yes, um, put that down. So I actually have some client work to do tonight, so that's why I had to go get all these items. And like, I don't, I haven't been stocking up all my things, and I do have to make store runs when I do client work because I told you like I'm getting ready to move, so I don't want to stock up on a lot of stuff. I kind of buy as I need at this time. But when I do move, I'm gonna stock up on a lot of stuff so I can just go in my little storage closet and grab things and I'll have everything on hand. But, um, like I used to, but since we're moving, I'm trying to downsize and declutter and get everything, uh, you know, organized so I can pack and then move. Because I'm moving next month, it's going to be in November, um, around Thanksgiving time is when we're supposed to move. Um, so, I'm, I'm trying not to buy too much stuff all at once only the things that I can use up like candles and herbs and stuff like that um, and of course I did need a few things that aren't you know uh, going to like be used up but um, they're small items so whatever. anyway um, yeah so if anyone's like I know a lot of, a lot of you guys uh, mail me stuff um, I'm not going to be at this address after um, the middle of November. So if you're planning on mailing me type of cards or whatever, um, make sure they come in the next two weeks because I'm not going to be here after that. And then I'll have to, you know, uh, update all my information and stuff. So that is just some little things that I wanted you guys to know. Also, um, I'm not going to be available this Saturday. Um, for any type of readings or workings um, unless I do them at night and they're just workings um, but I'm not gonna be able to do anything this Saturday because I'm gonna be at a Halloween get-together with my family which I might try to do on snapchat and show you guys you know what we're doing um, and I put my snapchat link in the down bar if you want to follow me if not I'll probably upload it and put it on this channel anyway so y'all can um, kind of keep up with me there other than that that's really all that's kind of going on um, yeah I've been watching a lot of uh, YouTube videos lately um, whenever um, I find like a new person that I like to watch I just like binge watch all their videos and I found like um, this new well he's not new but he's new to me um, Oh my god there was like a, a fly or something uh we had a pumpkin and it got you know how when you carve a pumpkin and it gets old and moldy there was a fruit fly in it and it's outside and the fruit fly came in and i'm like Ugh. anyway <laughs> um his name is um sanctista brujo luis i know you probably seen his channel on youtube he's really good uh, very knowledgeable um, 
I've watched so many of his videos and learned some new stuff that I, I didn't know. Um, so if y'all are looking for a new channel to watch, a new witchy channel to watch, y'all check him out because he's pretty cool. He's like, um, he's Puerto Rican and he's into um, all types of magic. So if you're not, um, like if you like different things, go check him out. I also been watching a lot of um, the Mystic at the Crossroad. I think that's her name, Mystic at the Crossroads. And I, I like her channel. She's very thorough and informative and does a lot of spells as well if you like you know looking at spells online check her out um and there's a few more but uh i really haven't gotten into their channel yet and i can't remember their name off the top of my head but if i think of them i'll put them in the um, description bar or i'll just um, probably make a video a whole nother video and tell you guys some of my favorite youtubers um that are new to me not new to uh youtube but you know that i've just discovered um but i've i've been watching uh, mystic at the crossroads for a while so that's not really new to me but i just wanted to shout her out because she's cool um but yeah if y'all know any other good witchy channels and y'all know the kind of stuff i like so uh, let me know in the comments and i will see you guys on the next one and if you have any questions, um, I'm going to link my website at the bottom of the description. It's my kids scream and chase each other. So um, you can contact me through my website um, as well. And I'm going to link that below. All right, I'll see y'all. Bye. So here's a little sneak peek at my ancestor altar this year. And I always set it up on my bar around Halloween, Dia de los Muertos, All Souls Day, and on into November. And it stays up for about a week. And it's just to give homage and honor to those who've paved the way for me, my grandmother, my grandfather, and this is my cousin. Um, she passed away soon, too soon in life. Um, and as you can see, I have these little muertos. They're made out of sugar, and they're like the coffin and the full body uh, version of the sugar skull. Um, and then over here, these are made of real sugar. I picked these up at my um, Latina grocery store, um, Fiesta in Houston, if y'all are familiar. It's a Latino grocery store, and... This is a sugar skull, and they make these in the bakery. And then I have the other full sugar casket skeleton uh, for my grandfather. And then, of course, I have water out for them. I have the offerings, the sweets, the fruit. And I have my muertos oil up here charging and I anointed my candles with the muertos oil. And I have a candle with some pumpkin seeds. And um, of course there's like a little cookie there. Then I have the ancestor money out for them. And um, the, the bride and the groom. And of course they were Christian for the most part. So I have the cross up there for them. And then, of course, I have my Santissima Muerte card up there as well for giving them a good um, death. They were well taken care of. And so that is what uh, La Santissima Muerte is over, as well as protection of the deceased as well. So, and this little picture back here, I drew that a couple years ago. And then I like kind of enhanced it with some beads and then I framed it. It actually glows in the dark. The frame is painted with pink glow in the dark paint. That's why it kind of looks like that. So it's kind of like shabby chic glow in the dark paint job. Um, yeah, I got that little um, idea for drawing that. I saw a picture online and I was like, oh, I bet I can draw that. 
So I put this up every year on my ancestor altar to give that some of my energy, my artistic energy, as far as like a tribute to the ones that came before me and sacrificed so that I could be who I am where I am today. Um, that's why it's important to honor your ancestors. I always have them up on a, a mini altar upstairs in my witchy room, but I bring it down um, this time of year and do it more elaborate down here with the candles and the offerings and the cookies and the apples and the, you know, I, I spent, um, you know, some money on this to get it to um, be presentable, you know, about the, the little uh, sugar skulls and stuff like that, and the candles, and 